New at 11, a local man says police arrested him for crimes he did not commit. Channel 2's Carl Willis is live in DeKalb County. This man says he is still paying for his stolen identity while the real suspect is out there somewhere free. Carl? Well, he tells me he saw fraudulent activity in his name. He says he filed a police report, but the authorities ignored it, and local police threw him in jail. For weeks, James Molden says he tried to wrestle his identity back from a thief who stole his social security number and photo ID. He filed a police report here in DeKalb County to alert the authorities, but he's the one who ended up with a mugshot. I was in Stone Mountain. I was surrounded by six different police cars with cops out of me tell me I had warrants for my arrest. The 27-year-old says his former roommate used his identity to buy a new car that he never made a payment on. And he opened several bank accounts, bouncing checks all over Pulaski County, Missouri. The man eventually worked his way to eight different warrants out for his arrest, but it was the real James Molden who Stone Mountain Police arrested. They told me I was wanted as a fugitive from justice. He sat in jail until he was extradited more than 700 miles away to Missouri. It took us seven days to get there on the van. We was handcuffed, shackled, went through 19 different states, and just basically treated like animals. The prosecuting attorney in Pulaski County emailed me, confirming that Molden's charges have been dismissed. Molden says he's relieved, but it's too little, too late. I lost two jobs. Um, I lost my car. I spent 32 days in jail. And he's still on the hook for $3,900 for his bail. He says he's telling his story so that no others experience what he endured. Actually sit back and investigate something before you ruin somebody's life, because one day that can be your child. Now, Molden says he's given the Pulaski County Sheriff's Office the name of his former friend who stole his identity, but so far there have been no arrests. Reporting live in DeKalb County, Carl Willis, Channel 2, Action News, Nightbeat.